Why all of a sudden do we hear so much about blue light and its harmful effects to the eyes and health? It's because our exposure to artificial blue light has increased so much recently with changes in built-in lighting for computers, cell phones, and other digital screens. And also, we spend much more time in front of computer screens and smartphones to work, communicate, shop, socialize, and entertain. The way we light our homes and offices also has changed, giving us more exposure to blue light. This phenomena is not going to change if not gets worse. So in this section, I talk about the blue light and give you some tips as to how you can minimize blue light exposure from digital screens. Many people ask me about eye-friendly light bulbs, so I'll talk about that as well. Where do you find blue light? Blue light can be found everywhere, at home, at work, and even outside. The sources of blue light include the sun, fluorescent lighting, compact fluorescent lights, LED lights, digital screens such as desktop monitors, laptops, tablets, e-readers, TVs, gaming consoles, cell phones, and other electronic screens. Yes, the sun is one of the sources of blue light, but it's a good one for us. With that said, next I'll talk about the blue light we get from natural sunlight versus artificially made. The blue turquoise light from natural sunlight is essential for our vision and health. It helps us to sleep better by regulating your natural sleep and wake cycles called circadian rhythms, increases alertness, memory, and cognitive function, elevate moods, and increase the feeling of overall well-being. That's why we go to the beach for vacation. Blue light in outdoor also helps with the childhood development of eye and eyesight. So letting your kids go outside and play is a good idea. How about artificial blue light? Not so good news with artificial blue light. In fact, many eye doctors, neuroscientists, and researchers concerned about possible long-term effects on eye health caused by blue light emitted by the computers, smartphones, and other digital devices. There is even a concern that blue LEDs and cool white LEDs are now capable of exceeding safe limits of the so-called blue light hazard as defined in NCI safety specifications. So the artificial blue light effect is serious enough that we should pay attention. So what are the harmful effects of artificial blue light? Digital eye strain and eye fatigue is the number one harmful effect. It's not just the desks and monitors that are causing eye strain. Laptops, tablets, e-readers, gaming consoles, TVs, and smartphones that emit blue light can also cause eye strain. Nowadays, full-spectrum white LED light bulbs that are used at homes and offices for energy and cost efficiency also emit much brighter blue light, causing bothersome symptoms. According to U.S. National Library of Medicine, blue light emitted from digital screens is also linked with myopia development and progression. Sleepless nights and daytime fatigue is the next common side effect. Recent studies show that blue light suppresses melatonin, the hormone the brain produces at night to induce sleepiness, potentially leaving you more alert when you would otherwise start feeling drowsy at night. Unfortunately, poor sleep can lead to many compounding side effects such as fatigue, distracted and impaired memory the next day, neurotoxin buildup, depression, lowered immunity, etc. Macular degeneration is another side effect. According to American Macular Degeneration Foundation and research from the University of Toledo, direct exposure to the artificial blue light emitted by digital devices could cause oxidative damage or death to the retinoid photoreceptor cells and retinal pigments which protect the retina in the eye, possibly leading to conditions like macular degeneration, which is one of the major causes of vision loss throughout the United States. Okay, now you know the harmful effects of artificial blue light. Next, I'll talk about how to minimize your blue light exposure. 